Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing really well. Today I'm actually really excited for today's video because we're gonna be looking at another reality show. If you've been on my channel in the past few months, you've probably realized that I've been slowly working my way through different reality show genres, which I've been having a lot of fun with. If you caught my last video, you probably know that one of my biggest critiques for all these content houses that keep popping up is just that I can't believe that none of them are making a reality show. Because more than anything else, I just feel like they're practically built for it. But today looks like we're finally gonna be looking at an influencer reality show based out of a content house because someone finally did it. And yes, I know the title is Nobody Asked For, but let's be honest. I asked for this and I'm pretty excited to see how it turned out. Before we start today's video though, I did want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, which is Raycon. Some of you guys might know that I've been using Raycons for about a year now and I have to say that I'm a pretty big fan. If you haven't heard of Raycon before though, they offer wireless earbuds that don't just sound great but also fit great too because they've got a great variety of different fit options. The best part though is that Raycon earbuds started about half the price as any other premium wireless earbuds on the market, yet they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. They also make a great holiday gift considering it's something that they could use every day, whether that's for work or play or at home or on the go. Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating fit. Plus celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Mike Tyson, and Brandy are all obsessed with Raycons too. Personally, I really like Raycons because I like to listen to like guided meditations or rain sounds before I go to bed because I sometimes have trouble sleeping. And the nice thing about the Raycons is because there's no stems or wires, I don't have to worry about a stem jabbing my ear because I do sleep on my side and I also don't have to worry about a wire trying to strangle me in the night. And since the compact carrying case can actually charge the earbuds four times on a single charge, I also don't have to worry about them dying on me quickly. Plus Raycon has a 45 day free return policy so that you can make sure that they're the right earbuds for you. Raycon's also being generous for the holidays as well so on top of everyday great prices they're offering you guys 15% off right now so you can save big on gift shopping. So if you're interested click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash to get 15% off of your order. The show in question is, of course, produced by the exact company you would expect it to be produced by, which is Awesomeness TV. You might recognize Awesomeness TV from some of the videos that I've done on their channel as a whole, or some of their critically acclaimed works, such as Dream Date with Chloe Couture. Chloe, I know we don't know each other that well, but I hope that you low key like me or high key, whatever's more likely. Now I'm gonna admit that I'm going in completely blind here. I don't really know anything about the people that are on the show, but I do know that there's one teaser and two episodes, and I thought it might be worthwhile to watch the teaser just to kind of get a bit of a taste of what we should should expect for this thing. Let's get started, baby. Let's go. I'm Alex Warren, and you're watching Awesomeness TV's Next Influencer. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of giving kids Bob Love Island right now. They all just look so young, so this just feels very weird. And we'll get a deal with Awesomeness TV to take the stardom to the next level. So far, the only person that I recognize right now is the bootleg David Dobrik. I'm also confused by the prize, if I'm being honest. Like, in quotations, it's Austin is TV taking your stardom to the next level. What does that mean? Like, are you just gonna be in their boot like Buzzfeed videos? Like, I don't understand. Most of these people, their TikToks would pull in more views than Austin is TV's videos. So what is the appeal here? I also don't recognize any of these people, which granted, I don't think I'd be on the side of TikTok where I'd run into them. But even then, I thought that this was supposed to be like a content house reality show but maybe it's not. Okay, I did some digging and apparently they're called Project 305 and they're a content group, not a content house because before this show, they weren't living together, but they all do know each other and they're like a part of a group together. It's definitely not the concept that I thought that they were going with. I thought that they were either doing a content house that was pre-built like already and they were just going in and filming it or I thought that everyone was like in the house, but they didn't know each other and they were all battling each other for like being the next influencer. I do wanna check out their TikTok account before we start watching the first episode because I just wanna get an idea of what kind of content they make first. Okay, pretty cool. Anything else? I don't get it. Maybe this is one of those things where like younger people, because their brain is still developing, they're able to like understand this content. Like maybe I'm small brain here. This could fully be some sort of Morse code that translates to a really funny joke that people over 17 just can't understand. Like a dog whistle. Okay. 
This kind of content just reminds me that the equivalent of this eight years ago was like when we used to make music videos through Photo Booth. As much as I'd like to sit here and be like, I don't think that I'd do stuff like this when I was younger if I had the chance to, but I was doing it essentially, just in a different way. And I don't even have the excuse of getting paid to do it. We were doing this shit for free. Like if we're being honest, we are the clowns. Obviously TikTok as a platform didn't exist, but I'd like to think that there was some sort of chance that we could have been doing shit like this, but we just weren't given the means to do it yet. And I thank God for that missed opportunity every day. Besides that point though, I still don't get this content. But at least we now know that Project 305 is your standard content house when it comes to the type of content that they produce. So let's jump into the first episode. Well, what's up? My name is Yo. Owen. I am the best person in the house. I'm the best looking. I'm the most outgoing and I am the most fun. And super humble. Hey guys, I'm Valeria. Yeah, I'm a content creator from Colombia. Yes, I'm Latina. Are you trying to tell me that I'm old enough to now be seeing the next gen Lele Pons? I know for a fact that she's punching the air somewhere right now. I'm Latina. No, I'm Latina. I make videos online and I love it. I just have fun with everything I do. I think I'm gonna root for her because she seems super wholesome. Oh my God, she can be that guy from the Chloe Couture dating series. I can't remember his name, but we all liked him. What separates me from everyone else is that I'm a twin. No, I'm very sorry. You both seem very nice, but I'm done with internet twins. The twin agenda ends today. I just don't understand where they all came from. Like I never met a twin in my life, ever. And suddenly they're everywhere. There are simply too many twins on the internet. Just being twins. Like their whole thing is just being a twin. You ask these people how their day is going and they're like, I'm twin. Like we know you're a twin. We see them right beside you and you both are wearing the same clothes. We get it. I know it seems like I have this irrational anger towards twins on the internet. I promise I don't, but I just, why so many? Why? And why are they always American? I feel like I've never seen a Canadian twin. Like just be the property brothers. They never say that they're twins. They just stand beside each other and everyone agrees they're twins because they look identical. What's up everybody? I'm Jada, I'm 18 years old. I'm from central Florida and I am that that was a YouTuber intro if I've ever heard one. So I think she's gonna be a good competitor. All the other contestants were like, hi, my name is blank, or what's up guys, my name is blank, but this girl knows. She like scared you a bit in the first like 0.2 seconds of her talking. I think it's an emotional thing. You scare them and then you welcome them. My name is Raul Ancio. I'm 19 years old. I'm still a full-time med student. This man waited 0.5 seconds to tell us he's a med student, which, at least means he's not lying. He's definitely a med student. Like, of course that's crazy and I wish that I was that smart, but I also feel like he's gonna be that person who like blames being a med student on like losing challenges or just reminding people every five minutes that he is in fact a med student. I'm a content creator for the same reason I want to become a dentist. Would we trust a TikTok star as a dentist though? Like I'm asking because I wouldn't. For the same reason I want to become a dentist, to bring people confidence through their smile. What? We have to go back to that because I actually don't even understand what he just said. Bring people confidence through their smile. What does that mean in relation to TikTok dances? I actually don't know if he does TikTok dances. So before I get ahead of myself, we'll check out his profile and see how he's bringing people confidence through their smile through his content. All right, um, did you guys smile? Okay, maybe it was just this video that didn't make us smile. I feel like the next one is gonna make us all very confident within our own smile. What the hell was that? You know what? I'm definitely smiling. I'm terrified and kind of disturbed, but I'm, I'm smiling. My confidence levels on the other hand have not budged. So maybe rethink the tagline to like something a bit more on brand, like um, expect the unexpected. I actually think that could be a good tagline for both TikTok star and dentist. Like imagine a dentist with that kind of tagline. It's like a little drama. Will you get your teeth cleaned today or will you get your mouth cut open because this guy did the woe in your mouth because a TikTok song came on while you had a scalpel in your mouth. Hi guys, I'm Gabby Obergon. I'm 19 years old and I'm a content creator from Miami, Florida. I'm also a soccer player. I love sports. I love how she's like carrying a ball while she's saying it. Soccer player? <sighs> of course I am. Have you seen this ball? It's also killing me that they're acting as if they didn't know that they were gonna be in the house together. 
even though they were in a group before the show and would have all signed on at the same time. I'm a full-time med student. I am Awesomeness TV's the next big influencer. influencer. Actually, guys, I'm Awesomeness TV's next big influencer. Daddy Alex? Who? That was definitely a word choice. And apparently enough so that two members in that room actually made a TikTok about it later. I'm only showing this because the two guys in the video seem to manage to radiate the exact same energy as those blonde twins that went viral a few months ago. Daddy Alex? What did she say? <laughs> So to start off the show, they do a challenge where each member has to write down an answer to a question, while the rest of the house guests have to guess what that answer was. For every wrong answer, they have to take a step towards the pool until they eventually have to jump in, and the last person standing wins. Something. I'm not really sure what yet. But I do know that this is one of the shadiest first challenge games I've ever seen on a show in my life. Considering a what kind of content does Valerie make question sparked this. I mean, it ranges from stupid to in between. It's funny, your captions better look, I'm so pretty. What does Gabby say is her greatest weakness? You talk too much, girl. It's only been like 10 minutes of this show and they're all being so mean to each other. The rest of that challenge was pretty uneventful. Basically just a lot of very randomly aggressive comments that were peppered in presumably by the producers to make a very uninspired challenge a little bit more interesting. But the winner ended up being Raul and he won a chance to talk to the show's host, Alex Warren, who is also a member of the Hype House. I don't have as much time as the other people because he's a med student. You have any tips for me about how to connect with people and form lasting bonds with them? Right, I mean, it's, I know it's basically easier said than done and self-explanatory, but it's like unapologetically yourself. Hold on a second here. You're trying to tell me that this guy won a competition where he was supposed to get like tips from an actual influencer and the only tip he was given was be yourself? You know what? Let's run that shit back because I want to hear it again. And people who realize like, hey, this is who this person is. And I quote, unapologetically be yourself and people will realize like, hey, this is who this person is. What does that even mean? You see, if the sky is unapologetically blue, people will start to realize blue is what the sky is. Thank you. Thank you so much. This man's like, thanks for nothing. Thank you. After those wise words from our host, Alex, we move on to the weirdest beef ever, where Jada is mad at Gabby because Gabby, completely unprovoked, just decided to announce to the house that she doesn't trust anybody for literally no reason. Honestly, Gabby, like, you are fake as f Okay, either Austinist TV needs to be a lot more discreet with inserting drama, or they need to show us what fight happened before they started filming, because this just doesn't make any sense. What kind of person, completely unprovoked, would just be like, I don't trust any of you in this room right now. For no, like, clear reason, and we just, like, all started this game together, but I just don't trust any of you. Okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. To get us all closer, let's all say one thing we don't like about each other. One okay. thing. And then no, something we like. Right. Actually, forget the yeah, we yeah. like. Just no, we don't like. Why are they all so shady on this show? Like, this doesn't make any sense. What is the reason? Okay, so now they're all ranking each other. So maybe, maybe I'll rank two. Actually, never mind. I still can't distinguish these people from each other yet. And then in first place, I'd put Jada. She's authentic and she's probably the only real one in this house. What does that even mean? The worst part is I can't even get mad at them for ranking each other for these dumbass reasons because Austin's TV gave them nothing else to rank each other on. Not them teasing a dance. How do they expect people to react when they see stuff like that? Like they're gonna be like, oh my God, I must rush to TikTok to see if they do the dice roll. Like, I don't even think an eight-year-old would leave the episode to check that out. So we find out that there's gonna be another challenge, but this time they'll be given a partner that was randomly selected based on the rankings that they gave last episode. What? Wait, 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 no! Wait. Not this acting, I can't do it. Coley and Giovanni. Wait, which one? Uh, which one? <laughs> you know what, I actually like her now. Like, she's asking the real questions. The swag muffins are born. Swag muffins. <laughs> this may seem cringe to some, but we all had a swag muffin face. And I respect him for living out his. I feel like in today's world, it's hard to have a swag muffin face when you're younger. 
because like you have all these like things where like you're worrying about being famous at 13. Biting my cheeks so hard to try and not smile that I start bleeding. I can taste the blood. It's insane. I don't believe you on that one actually. So they do their challenges and the chosen overinflated drama for those five minutes was when Gabby laughed at this joke and costed her team the game. Did you know you can make a tissue laugh? Put a little boogie to it. I was actually trying to like build up a nice relationship with you, but I don't know anymore. Ooh. Just because I laughed. You giggled during a try not to giggle challenge, so like now I actually want nothing to do with you. I want you to stay as far away from me as possible, and if I had the chance, I would push you off a cliff. I know we all knew already that this was scripted, but this was definitely the nail in the coffin. Like, they lost a challenge, and this guy's this pressed. Here's my question though. Why would they sign up for this? if the show was gonna plant drama that makes all of them look ridiculous. Did they get the script beforehand or was it kind of just integrated as they were filming? And if so, why did they agree to go along with it? Because quite frankly, it just makes all of them look terrible. And if you look in the comment sections of these episodes, everyone hates most of the people on the show except for one or two people. And of course that's probably at the fault of them inserting all of this random drama. Also, in case you were wondering, yes. Jada and Gabby are still fighting over the same thing they were fighting over last episode for some reason. Like, why what? You're the one throwing shade at me, so I'm obviously not gonna let, like, I'm not gonna let you step all over Okay, me. but why are you I'm being, gonna why are you being mean? If they're gonna fake drama, can they at least, like, make it interesting drama? I know that it's Austin's TV and their audience is young, so they obviously can't use the typical drama that other reality shows would stuff into shows to make it more interesting, but there's just gotta be something more interesting to fake than this. Oh my God, they should fake what Lele Pons did to her roommate. Or I think maybe they weren't roommates, but they just lived in the same building at the time and they were both Viners. And whenever Lele Pons could like get at her phone, she would private her Instagram so that she couldn't get more followers than her. No, just know with me, I'm literally the easiest person ever. Like, like yeah, no, for sure. And like yeah. you're that type of person, which yeah, is so yeah. cool. Cool girl. Cool girl never gets angry at her man. She only smiles in a chagrined, loving, loving manner. Man. Whatever happens, happens. I agree. I kind of heard that like Sabrina was gonna like go for Owen. Okay, I'm just like telling you that now. Cause she okay. told me she told me she doesn't care if you know. So. Oh yeah, no, we've talked about stuff like that actually. I don't exactly know how, but this clip is simultaneously giving the energy of those two people who fought over Zara Larson and the video of Madison Beer confronting that girl from Twitter. Sabrina would never go for Owen. I'm just trying to stir up the pot because it's kind of fun. You know what? I respect it. Us three, we can vote each other at the top and we'll for okay, sure yeah, rank at the it. top. Why are you yelling your secret plan for everyone else in the house to hear? So we're all voting for each other at the top, right? Just make sure to like vote for me at the top and I'll do it for you and no one's gonna know. Just don't tell anybody. Hey, Owen, we Hey, Owen, oh, what's up? Oh my god, this acting. I don't even know what to say. Like, I can't even pretend that this acting is good enough to comment on what's going on because it's clearly not what's actually going on. Dude, I'm literally so fed up with the girls. They're so problematic and I- Oh, here we go, everybody. Girls are just so much drama. Okay, this time around, I do feel confident enough to rank them. Like, I feel like I know everybody pretty good by now. Okay, so starting from the bottom, we would go with Gabby, Owen, Coley, Julian, Giovanni, Jada, Valeria, and Sabrina. So there actually are only two episodes of this show out so far. So as of now, this is what we have seen of the next influencer. In my humble opinion, I would say that the Chloe Couture dating series still reigns supreme in terms of Austin's TV shows but maybe I'm a little bit biased. It is definitely nice to see an influencer group trying out the reality show format. It's definitely not in the way that I had expected. I would have thought that somebody would have done something on their own via YouTube versus pairing with like a company like Austin is TV, but you take what you can get. Of course it goes without saying that the fake drama is completely unnecessary. I feel like they could have built this show in terms of challenges and stuff like that. They could have gotten people to create drama on their own instead of just pushing it onto them. Of course they're acting out this fake drama terribly because they're not actors. I think there's a lot of examples of reality challenge shows that exist right now that Austinist TV could have taken tips from in terms of creating games that would have caused drama organically. But of course this is Austinist TV and my standards were already low to begin with when it comes to that company because their MO seems to just be shoving internet famous people together, 
filming them, letting them do whatever with no direction, and then posting it. I'm definitely curious to see what you guys thought of the show and just the concept in general, which you guys can leave that in the comments down below or on whatever platform you want to. Of course, before we start today's video, we have to do this week's sweaty shout out. And this week it goes to a local court jester who sent this photo that says, every day I put on my stupid little oversized sweatshirt and cry while listening to current joys. If you want to get a shout out for yourself, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and then DM me your favorite meme of the week and you might get chosen. But with that being said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, feel free to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. If you want to follow me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which are both Casey Yonzo. And otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video again and I'll see you guys in the next one.